Oh, this is max level EDC, and I've been waiting a long time to get the Firescape by Outdoor Elements in my hands. Now that I have, and I've had a couple of weeks to think about it, I'd like to talk about not only the Firescape, but also rescue tools in general. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. Hello, we're going to be talking about the fire escape by outdoor element but we're in great company here with other rescue tools or would be rescue tools and i say that because one of these three is actually not a rescue tool in my opinion because it doesn't effectively allow you to affect escape when it's your life on the line the one that i'm referring to is actually the leatherman rx and the reason is the Glass breaker is recessed, which means you cannot use it without opening the device, and the device is too handable only. With any major conditions where your life is on the line, you don't have the time to fiddle around with opening up a two-handed multi-tool. And because of that, because of the length of the bit, really, because the bit could have easily been long enough to allow it to be used closed, because of that purpose, this is actually not a rescue tool. And for this purposes of that, we will be removing it for now and focusing on the remaining two. The first one, let's just get it out of the way, this is the Leatherman Raptor. It is probably, maybe, well, my my opinion, maybe the, the best multi-tool that Leatherman has ever produced, in my opinion. And this thing has, I honestly can't find any negatives. I used to think that, oh, it's maybe too big, right? But then it occurred to me that if you have gloves on, this is actually much easier to use than some of the standard shears that people have access to. So once again, I found myself going, oh yeah, there's nothing I can think of that this can't really do. And while we're at it, I should mention that this is absolutely one hand close, although doing it through a viewfinder is not the easiest thing in the world. It has one handable belt cutter, and of course, you always have access to the glass breaker on the back. So, one handable here, one handable here. Those are requirements for me as far as a rescue tool. If I'm in a car crash that is horrific enough that I have to break myself out of a car, I have to assume that I'm injured in some way. Likely broken arm whatever you have you I cannot depend on something requiring two hands to open I'll be lucky if I can open it with one so anything that I have that's gonna be used as an escape tool has to be usable one-handed which this is and for that it's important to understand that before we start addressing this tool which is the fire escape they have gone above and beyond in my opinion now they're certainly not you know, this is not a perfect tool, but it has some pretty great features. Um, something that I want to talk about first is there are a lot more implements on this than on the original. And of course, I forgot the original, so give me just one second here. Ah, the magic of editing. Anyway, so this is the original fire, um, fire beaner, and you can tell it's actually quite a bit smaller than the new fire escape but certainly uh, no less capable in what it was originally designed to do uh, i certainly had a lot of reservations about it as something i carry on my keychain because well it didn't really function very well uh, the openings here that you were supposed to be able to use for keychains only work with the smallest you know split rings and that really wasn't good enough for me so they have practically addressed everything that I can think of that I wanted with this new update. One, they made the holes bigger. And not just bigger, they made them useful. They added a glass breaker in basically for free, causes no damage, isn't sharp to really hurt you. And it seems, now I could be wrong, now you can tell me, but I think this has a bigger fire spark than this one. And we're going to try that. Okay, now I'm not sure what that's going to look like on a camera, but I get this feeling like it really does spark bigger, not to mention making awesome little smoke rings. How cool is that? 
Sweet. Anyway, that's something new. I didn't even discover. That's cool. All right. So, better on the fire, it seems. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm not seeing it. I don't know. You'll have to tell me in the video. But, uh, awesome. It has fire. Glass breaker. Two useful tools, which I'll get to in just a second. And, of course, the cutter. Now, this is where I'm going to get to something you can tell. This is not the way it came. It actually came with a little string like this. And the string went through this hole and was attached through this. So it had a loop attached to it like that. And I found in a very, very, very short amount of time that that little string caught on basically anything. It would just pull this right out, exposing the blade. Now, I tried carrying it just to see what would happen. Uh, the blade just opened. And I didn't have any real issues, but I could see when you're sitting down especially, like if you had this connected to your belt, I could see this like turning and then literally just slicing something up. Now, it's not likely to hurt anybody, but you could ruin a very expensive jacket or dress without the cover, and that's not something you really want to have happen. So my solution was to use elastic bands and tie it and pull it up instead towards the blade. I think the problem is that this piece of plastic is too soft, and I confirmed that with the uh, guys at Outdoor Element. This is not as hard or as rigid of a plastic as they would have liked originally, so they're working on that, so I just wanted to let you know about that. But there's a lot of ways you can <laughs> create a cover for this. I'm not super worried about that myself. And I wanted to address size again, because you can, one of the things that the size allows me to do, now I don't have huge hands, and I would imagine you could do this with three fingers, no problem, is to get in here and use this like a grip. One, because I can use it with a firm grip and use the glass breaker, but also with this cutter, it allows me to pull towards myself and actually cut material. And the blade is obscenely sharp. I've actually used it recently to actually cut um, rubber mat just kind of to get a perfect nice line because I was trying to pull it towards myself and it worked really well. Um, so actually I used it for something else as well. And in its in the way I've set it up, I have my key, my car key attached to it. Now that's important. I have it and not only do I have it attached to it, I don't have it attached to it with a split ring. I have it attached with something that I can quickly rip it off. So the idea is that it's right near the steering column. I can grab it, pull it off, even snap it if I have to and then I can use it to affect escape. That's if it's for me. Now, let's talk about escape tools. Are they really for people who are just afraid of life? No, I mean, yeah, I mean, certainly it's helpful to have this peace of mind for me, but that's not why I originally um, decided to carry one. I decided that if I was gonna continue a journey into focusing on everyday carry, I didn't wanna to get to this idea where I was always looking for the bigger, better thing, you know, cooler materials, etc. I wanted to have a purpose, and the purpose for me is driven on this concept of compassion and capability. So for me, I may never get into a situation where I need one of these tools, but there is a chance, and a pretty strong one is, especially if the more I travel and have adventures, that I may encounter a situation where I could be of assistance and provide some help to somebody along the way. And for me, that, that makes all the difference. That's what it's all about. So for me, having something that I don't even have to think about, which most importantly can go anywhere in the world. The gentleman who, well, the company that makes this, they've been carrying them on planes for months now, like bunches of them, just the way you see it, well, minus my changes, and haven't had any issues, no confiscations, nothing. So this is a rescue tool that will go with you anywhere and be part of your adventures. And there's a lot more going on here. This was designed with firefighters and rescue personnel in mind. So in addition to having a hex wrench, it also has an oxygen wrench for those people who need it. I was talking to my sister who's a diver and she might get one just to have it for her oxygen tanks as well. Not that um, all tanks have this type of opening, but some new, some of the older ones. Now, this does not have retention, but there are some tricks we can use. The first one being a hex bit driver that actually has ball detent retention. Unfortunately, there's only one company I know of that, that has something like this that prevents this from coming out. 
um, that you can buy separately. But this is from a multi-force uh, multi-tool. But I would love somebody to make something like that. There's a whole bunch of pry bars and other implements that have these style of non-retaining hex drivers. And it would be really cool if someone would eventually come out with one something that I can use to carry with me that works with all these other things so I can have a nice strong handle for use. It also has a pretty strong amount of, uh, what do you call it, strength. That's not correct English, obviously. This can hold up to 125 pounds, so it's obviously not for climbing, but it's pretty strong. And the, this is a very nice strong spring as well. Now, I should also mention that they move the bottle opener from here to right there. So you put this under the cap and you pop it up just like that. So very, very cool. And, and now it is a permanent fixture on my EDC. And yeah, I get it. They have to work on this little um, cover. But frankly, that's a pretty minor point in my opinion. I could carve something out of wood that would work along with some elastic that I could hold in here. Look, it doesn't change the functionality for me. Now, they, I hope they, they work on that and they get it fixed because I think some people won't have the patience to do something, a fix like this. But all in all, I'm very, very happy with it. I think the, knowing that on the, you know, if I carried this on a plane and I had fire in addition to my safety tools, I mean, that is super cool. I'm very, very happy about that, and I really do hope that they continue to make these innovative changes, especially with feedback. This came uh, from feedback from first responders about the original tool. So, I mean, I hope they continue to innovate and, sh and provide these incredible life-saving implements, because someday I think you're going to hear stories of this actually coming in handy and potentially even saving a life. So... Thank you, Outdoor Element, for sending this to me, and thank you for continuing to innovate. So I hope you enjoyed this. This maybe gave you some food for thought why you might want to carry a safety tool of some sort, whether you leave it in your car or on your person. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and you have a great day.